Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I am Brett Kai Vectra, and I would like to welcome you to the runway. Today, we have the pleasure of viewing the Terry Mugler Spring Summer 2025 Ready to Wear. Okay, here we go. Show. Mm, right out of the gate, we have a nice tailored suit. Look at those platform shoes. Oh, love the heels on them. What do you guys make of the hat? All right, it's like a hairpiece hat. At first, I thought it was a wig. But then when I saw the, her hair underneath, yeah, those shoes are beautiful. I know Gaga would love those. You know, again, I'm a relatively new guy to high fashion. But I knew Terry Mugler was one of those fashion designers back in the 90s that... Like, I mean, you want to talk about out of this world, literally, you know, with even in the perfume industry, with Alien and releases like that. Look at this beautiful sash. I like the venue, packed house. I like the way they're gripping the bags. Almost the way like a guy, a bashful guy would uh, carry in his wife's purse <laughs> to the restaurant if she left in the car. Grab it like a man, per se. It's like, I'm not carrying a bag type of grip. Look at these shoes. Beautiful open toe. Again, we got pearl hits. Some gentlemen here. Platform boots. I like them. Nice tight shaft. I'm particular about that with boots. You know, I don't like the, the shaft and the opening to be too wide. So I'm such a big fan of Chelsea's. Look at that bag. What do you make of the contouring at the waist? Exaggerated hip dips. Ooh, I really love this sheer toll. Look at the layering there. Really nice. Yeah, I like this on a black platform. That gray is beautiful. Gents had some nice looks. I like the green. Those are gorgeous. Love the army olive. Nice his and her looks there. That's the best thing since sliced bread. This record that we're listening to is made by yours truly, Break High Vector. You can stream it. It is titled Runway. And it was made for shows like this. Serious high fashion. No games. Oh, I really like that. And see, that's the type of contouring you see from Daniel Raspberry's, excuse me, <laughs> Daniel Roseberry's Schiaparelli. Grand, great silhouette on those shoes. Be at the platform heels, the boots, or even the open toed.
lot to like here with these monochromatic looks. And that last one was killer. And now we're in a denim section. I like the front slit on the bottom of the trousers. Yeah, that's so sleek. Absolutely. This is like a precision show. I mean, everything is sharp, everything is clean, form fitting. Models are really on point with their walks. <laughs> the hair pieces are very intriguing. Nice extra turn. And one last look at everyone. This is a beautiful lineup. Short and sweet. Nice sequin look. Can love the jackets here. That's my least favorite look that what kind of like plastic poncho look but other than that great work from a young designer graduated with a degree in architecture bounced around in some houses and now he's at Mugler Mr. Casey Cadwallader great job sir okay now it's time for Brett's picks where I showcase and pontificate about some of my favorite looks from this show and for this we're starting off from the get-go first look right here tone setter we're introduced to these really sharp angular bangs we've got the sharp batman we have these all black velvet platforms with the pearl on the fastener and of course we have a really sharp stiletto sharp dagger cut suit now i know mr terry mcglair himself was big on these type of sharp silhouettes and bold contours and his designs and this picks up right where he left off again i love the pearl that's also holding as a singular button on his jacket and you've got pearls on the earrings i love the rounded collar the lapel -less jacket is very very cool and again we have the accentuated hips on the waistline that serve as pockets again very clean very sharp when I think of Terry Mugler, I think of like models like Shalom Harlow. Very eccentric, very intriguing, very enigmatic. This look right here was the first one that really gave us a pop of color. Got the nice teal as we, as we get a really nice sash going across the front of this dress here. Here we get our first pop. Here we get our first shiny look. Have that same cut. Same beautiful collar around the neck. Same beautiful collar around the neck. Gorgeous contouring with the suit. Same gripped bag. Beautiful. Stellar platforms. But everything is dows in these shiny little... I don't know, they're not sequins, I see now. But I've, I don't know what those are, but I've seen them before. Someone could tell me in the comment section what those are, but the shiny little, but yeah, this one's dows in these shiny embellishments. We'll call them that for now. And it's gorgeous. Here we have a men's version of the opening looks. No pearl hits. We've got all black boots here. Again, tight shaft. He's got pretty slim legs. So you, that's that's a really small opening for for boots, but I appreciate that. 
as I mentioned earlier, rather than, it, it just looks better, you know. And if you are a person, I'm not the type to wear boots with shorts, but if you are, you definitely want a tight closure, kind of like Doc Martens. And, I mean, even though that's kind of cheating because you're, you're tying those. Again, razor sharp silhouette here. I, I can't get enough of these shoes. Oh, I can't get enough of these shoes. It's like they were made for Gaga. I keep seeing it every time I see them. Oh, look at the pebble leather on this bag. And I like the front slit opening on the bottom of those trousers. Those work really well with these tops here. This jacket was one of my favorites. And the loose fitting trousers really provide, and the loose fitting trousers really work here. If you're gonna accentuate the hips out, it really tapers nicely going back down to her legs with the loose fitting flares here. And the front slit opening on the on the and the front slit opening on the pant legs work nicely with that collar. Here we double down on the sash look, except we're going sheer. Love the asymmetrical. Actually, we triple down on. It. I forgot about the one on the back. And I love the asymmetrical. But this is just stellar. The open-toed shoes are perfect for this one. You're showing skin on top, show more skin on the feet. Really nice. This jacket was sick. This was sick. You know, it's padded around the shoulders. Definitely accentuates the masculine frame. But it really, really works nicely. Here you see the, the her version, where again, it's got that, it's got the pimped up shoulders. The tapered sleeves. Love her pumps there. Again, beautiful army looks. You want to talk about breathtaking. I, I didn't really say anything when I first saw this one, but this one really was nice. Oh my word. You got the olive green working with the black here. And it works beautifully. Love the mini skirt underneath. Neckline is beautiful. And again, I love the collar. These lapel is jackets. They're just gorgeous. And here we get stilettos. We don't get those platform shoes. We're getting edgier, even sharper. Somehow, some way. And this, like right here, is just, oh, absolutely stunning. Nude, see-through. We have the same diagonal patterns here on the shoes. Here we have the same diagonal patterns on the shoes and on the dress we get a see-through aspect and it works beautifully. Again, you want to talk about a look that left me speechless. This one right here, this one right here. First off, I, I noticed her black nails here. There's so much to talk about with this one. She's got the iconic probably piece of this whole collection, that sharp angular bang headpiece. But then she's got this super sharp blade-like sash set you see it's got some tall on the bottom of the skirt there and we end with these gorgeous open-toed shoes and the cool thing about this sash is it's wrapping around her neck and then finishing off by her head that's the sickest thing ever I don't know how they manipulated that fabric to do that I'm guessing they had some sort of like on the left side here on the outer left side here <laughs> I need a I need a pin I need to like have like a, a pen to draw with. <laughs> but on the outer left side here, I'm guessing like there's like a there's like some sort of wire that's running in between the fabric. Like you can see. Yeah, I can I can kind of tell. I'm guess I assume they achieved this by with some sort of wire. I assume they achieved this look with some sort of wire that's running across her chest on the inside of her chest, and then it finishes on the outside. Up there and it's really malleable I assume like you can easily bend it off but it holds you've seen stuff like this before with I'm trying to think of other garments 
but I, I've experienced that type of that type of stiff metallic little, little thin rod that you can put you can stitch in fabric sharp clean and Mugler everything I said there applies here again this is like a couture-esque look these last two are couture level looks this one oh my word you have this beautiful shirt this beautiful shirt ruffled look absolutely stunning way to cap off the show it's sexy it shows skin it's artistic it's got finesse oh it's beautiful and it and it wears with it works with the body she's wearing the garment it's not wearing her I like that so much and whether she stands or sits or bends over it's not going to the way it flares out at the bottom of the skirt it's gonna be comfortable great ergonomic design from mr. Casey yeah those are my thoughts about the show what say you this is my first Mugler show that I've thoroughly checked out and I can't wait to watch more again the house of Mugler is just one of those houses you know just looking up different things like in fashion just seeing different looks on the internet you, you see a lot of Terry Mugler in the 90s um, and here it did not disappoint in 2024 um, for the spring 2025 show did not disappoint carried the house codes but modernized it excellent job to Mr. Casey thank you very much for watching your viewership is much appreciated I hope to see you next time but until next time you have a great day